What's going on everybody? It's Joe here with Deranged. So I have had the Tusk Megabytes on the Talon for uh, a little bit now. I've been able to take them and put about 100, 150 or so miles on them. Want to do a quick update on my uh, initial impressions, give you the, uh, I don't know, the uh, 100 mile review or whatever you want to call it. Give you a little more thoughts on the tires and let you know what I think about the Tusk Megabytes. So first, I'll just say my initial impressions after riding um, with them are, I'm, I'm impressed. So uh, number one, soft terrain, riding in the sand, stuff like that, you can just tell it bites better than the terabytes do. Uh, you have uh, more traction when you're going through corners, stuff like that. In the sand, it, it gets traction, gets going better. Um, so overall in the, uh, you know, real soft stuff, I, I'm impressed. Um, let's take a look at the wear on the tires because I know that's a big concern for a lot of people, especially for non-DOT related tires. Um, let's take a look at the wear after this 100, 150 miles. Um, so let's take a look first at the fronts. So my fronts up here, as you can see, there is very, very little wear. So again, we have about 100, 150 miles, something like that. Not a ton. We did pull the, um, you know, the uh, little nubs off, but that's about it. Sidewalls, they all look good. Um, not, you know, like I said, very, very little wear on the Megabytes. You got a little bit of the front edge of the um, lugs being worn off. So let me show, uh, show you the rears and kind of tell you why that, uh, that happened to me. So first, this 100, 150 miles consisted of... Um, four or five trails out at Sand Hollow, Utah in the Slick Rock at UTV Takeover. So there was a ton of rock crawling going on as well. So especially when you're talking about Slick Rock or Sandstone, um, you're gonna have a lot of uh, grip, I guess, on the tires. So when they slip, you're gonna see some wear. So this is what your rears look like. The backside obviously is still look real, real good. You'll see on the front side, there is that initial wear um, going on and it's worse in the rear than it is on the front more of the weight is back here um, So, you know more than likely that's why it's going on. You got the front edge kind of on each each uh, Tread rubbed off a bit. So a couple things on that number one again doing a lot of mileage in in uh, Rock crawling and whatnot. So that that plays a big um, a big part in it um, the next thing is so this isn't just exclusive to uh, megabytes to see this type of thing. Um, you'll see it on uh, your Maxis, uh, well you'll see it on the carnivores, but you'll also see it on your Rockzillas as well, that front edge getting worn down. And a lot of people say both the Rockzillas and other kind of rock crawling keyed tires, um, a lot of people will say that that um, when it gets worn down in the front, that's when the tires start to perform better or well. Um, they perform better with, you know, six or eight trails on them um, than they do right out of the box brand new. Because that front edge has been worn down a little bit and it gives you a bit more surface area to grip the rocks as you're uh, crawling them. So, again, that's what they look like. About 100, 150 miles so far on these tires. Again, I am, uh, I am impressed with them in both the rocks and in the um, soft stuff. So, the tires, when they were released, they were released as a a soft to medium terrain tire. So they're designed for soft to medium and terrain. And basically I think they were, they were pretty much a Maxxis carnivore competitor. Um, that's what they look like to me anyway, kind of going after that market. Neither one of them being DOT approved, both of them having kind of a wide lug um, pattern and some aggressive tread. So both of them being similar tires, you know, you'll, you'll also have similar wear um, as well. So. Initial thoughts on them, so far they've been great tires. Um, yeah, I would recommend them. Um, if you do less rock crawling, you're gonna see less kind of wear on that front end. You're gonna see more similar wear to what I had on those front tires. Um, you're gonna see less wear on that, uh, on that front there. Okay, so the size and shape of the tire, I wanna cover that real quick as well. So the size, they are, they do run about the same as the terabytes. They actually have the same, um, what do you call it? The same guts, the same carcass as your uh, terabytes do. 
Um, so they're real similar sized and measured and everything else. With these, when you fill them up to 15, 18, 20 uh, PSI, they get, they get taller. Uh, when I initially measured them, they were 31 and three quarters, so almost 32, and that's with 20 PSI in them. Um, when I drop them down, they're now down to, I think it's uh, eight PSI, something like that. They are much uh, smaller, shorter, whatever you want to call it. They're 30.75 inches now, so not even 31 inches when you drop that air pressure down. That, that helps with a couple things. So with them uh, being as big as they are, 32s on this Honda Talon, you do get a little scrub um, in the front when you drop that pressure down. There's obviously a smaller tire in there, less, uh, less rub and whatnot going on as well. So that's a little bit about the size. Um, now to the shape. So the shape of the tire, it does have a little bit more of a round profile than the terabytes, but not a ton, to be honest with you. So it's, it's pretty darn similar to what you're gonna see with the, with the terabyte. I think the tread might be a little bit more rounded um, carcass is pretty much the same, um, but yeah, it's it. They do call it a rounder profile, in my opinion. If it's rounder, it's not uh, it's not a ton rounder. So, but yeah, that's what uh, that's what it looks like for size and shape on the uh, on the Tusk Megabytes. So overall, I'm really impressed with the tire so far. Again, as I said at the beginning, this is with about 100 150 miles on it, sandy wash trails. Uh, the sand, sand dunes at Sand Hollow, the uh, rocks at Sand Hollow, rock crawling and whatnot. That's the type of terrain that I've been in for this hundred miles or so. I do plan to do an additional kind of update review when I get to more like 500 miles. When I get to 500 miles, then I will have done a lot more um, variety of trail to give you kind of my better thoughts on it. Um, overall, tread cleans out real well. Nice wide uh, pattern. They're a great tire, especially for the money. I think if you price them out compared to other tires, um, you're gonna be able to get a better deal on these as well. Not to mention Rocky Mountain can get, to, get, get them to you dang quick. They come from either Kentucky or Utah and they ship out in just a few days. So honestly, it's a, it's a great deal, great tire. If you're shopping for tires or anything else for your side-by-side -side or uh, motorcycle or whatever, be sure to use the link in our description down below. Uh, we do get a little bit of a kickback on it. It doesn't cost you any more. All it does is help us out as we, uh, you know, grow the channel and whatnot. So definitely check out the links in the description below for links to the tires and links to Rocky Mountain ATV uh, for anything that you need there. And one more thing before I go, this stack of tires back here was actually donated to us by Rocky Mountain ATV. And what we are doing with those tires is if you're in the Phoenix market in Arizona, uh, in Queen Creek, they are doing a Christmas parade of side-by-sides. Last year, we had 300 plus, I think it was 380 side-by-sides uh, that were in this Christmas parade. It was really a, a good time. This year, they're expecting much more, upwards of 1,000 side-by-sides at this Christmas parade in Queen Creek, Arizona. So these tires are going to be given away in a raffle at that Christmas parade, and the proceeds will go to benefit uh, military families um, from Arizona. So... Uh, it's an awesome kind of benefit. Uh, you can, uh, if you attend the event, you have the chance to win that stack of tires right there. 32, 15 um, Tusk Megabytes, brand new. Uh, again, provided to us by, uh, by the people at Tusk and the people at uh, Rocky Mountain ATV. So if you're in Arizona, then definitely get out there. So guys, that's it for this one. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you have any thoughts or questions on the Tusk Megabytes, I'm happy to answer them down below. Uh, that's it. Ride safe, pack out what you pack in, and we'll see you on the next one.